Can you make a drift trike chain guard out of a computer case side cover? Probably, I'm about to find out. It seems like a weird idea, but I think we can make it work. So here's the plan. If you remember in part two or part one, whatever it was, I showed this little chain guard and apparently it doesn't work. I didn't realize how small this thing was and well, I'm on my own for modifying it because with my design, you have the engine behind the, the rear axle and, and then I need a wide st metal stock to go out to the sprocket to cover the chain and whatnot. The only problem is that your hardware stores, uh, metal stock can go up to widths of three and a half inches. I need at least one more inch, four and a half inches. Sheet metal, I'm not sure where I could get it at the moment, but then I thought, hold on a second, computer co covers. They're made out of, they, they can be made out of various steels, maybe galvanized or electrogenized or something like that. And if, as you can clearly see, it is way more longer than four and a half inches. And I have another cover or side cover of this one goes wrong, but I want to start with this one and see what can go wrong. Oh, and this is Odie, by the way, if you haven't met him. Hey, buddy. She's hanging out here with me with... <laughs> anyway, so here's the plan. Um, it's going to be a kind of, this, cha this chain guard is going to be a cover or cut out, fold up kind of deal. Considering that my, the chain guard needs to go this way towards the, the seat and not that way out towards the back of the frame. We need to make it so the, that this is going towards the seat, obviously, and make sure that we can fold th that plate in to a point where you can mount it easily on the engine. So I'm going to use this as a reference. I'm just basically going to trace out this plate here with the holes and then also trace out this part here because that also might be the part where I bend it and try to replicate this uh, this curve here for the clutch. And then we'll just go straight out, maybe about four and a half inches wide and see where that goes. So I'm basically just gonna sit here at the comforts of my computer desk and draw out a basic cut out. I would use my clamps, but they're out in the garage. The less trips, the better. So I think what we can do temporarily, well, temporarily sealed off. This is just a temporarily fix. Temporary fix. Uh, okay, well, I'm probably just gonna have to hold it still. It'll be okay. All right, here we go. Feels like I'm remanufacturing an aftermarket part for cheap. <laughs> Even though I'm not. Uh, crap. Make sure that read lines back up. It looks like red. I, I, this is a blue marker on a black case. Actually, it looks really. I turned red. Huh. That's something you don't see every day. So I got my basic cutout of this plate here. As you can see, if I line it up correctly, it's maybe about 98% accurate. It did move around just a little bit, but I'm hoping this will work. I might have to buffer out these holes a little bit more, depending on which ones I need to use to mount the chain guard on. And yeah. All right, I got my uh, four and a half inch length out. It's not perfect. I mean, this could probably be one of those quote unquote temporary chain guards. I mean, if you want more something professional, you would order a B or you would order a chain guard yourself, and then maybe modify that one to make it look more professional. I mean, this is just like if you're a cheapskate like me, doesn't have much money, and yeah. Um, if you're wondering where I got this case, I got this from my dad, or since he's got a, his own computer business, I'm pretty sure you can look at maybe some other uh, scrap pile or, or scrapped computers pile of some sort. See if you, or if you have a retired computer sitting in your house and you don't want to use the side cover anymore, there you go. So funny story, 
I thought I needed four and a half inches of length or width for my chain guard, but I need three and a half inches. <laughs> so technically you could be screaming, Kaden, you can make your own better welded chain or chain guard with your three and a half inch stock. The welding experience, still cheapskate mindset. So all, all I just need to do then is just measure out to three and a half inches instead, and then that should do it. of time has passed and you can probably tell I've beaten up as you can see I got the chain guard on and it has been redeformed that's because I was trying to originally I was trying to get this on with the clutch on but then I had to remove it using my neighbor's uh, pull I think it's called a pulley plier or something and I almost knacked up my clutch here so here's an image of why I think I almost mucked it up. But when I went to try again to pull this off with the with those grips on these metal pieces, it seemed to deform it back into place. And I think my clutch is still okay. If it is not, then I will get another clutch in the later future or then in the far future. And then maybe put this on hold again. We still need the paint in it, obviously. So that'll maybe give me something to do. I'm not going to risk putting this clutch back on for the time being, but I want to let you know that my chain guard is on, I guess. The, all the stuff I had to do, it, I, I hurt. So I think it's a good stopping point for now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and maybe put the engine back on and show you what it looks like. All right, everyone, what the chain guard looks like, everyone. And as you can see, there's plenty of clearance here. Chain's, chain's gonna be on the ground part time, I think. Actually, maybe I can just go ahead and quickly put this over, or take it out completely. So yeah, that's just gonna be temporary. I'll put the clutch on later, cause it's the end of the weekend. I need to go back to college. I need to get ready to go back to college, so.
so it has been ages since I've seen you. Um, I apologize for that last clip. Um, I think if I remember correctly, that was about a month ago. It is now a day before my birthday. I turn 20 tomorrow, March 16th, 2019. And I just want to show you uh, this. Um, I've just been really busy with my college program. And it's just getting to a point where we're having exams here and there, and then projects are being uh, more, or projects are more over my priority. So I haven't had time to work on the trike. So I apologize for that in, in advance. And that's why it took me for ages just to get something uploaded because I've had the, the, the video just sitting here ready. I was waiting for like the aftermath of this, but no, never made it that far. Um, it, I'm still probably going to be pretty busy, but I'm just going to go ahead and get this out before it's too late. I mean, I only have about a month or two, just about a month before I, before I'm back for the summer. Um, but anyway, uh, here's, how did you, I just want to show you real quick. I just did another alley run test and I had to switch out the bolt because, um, what I, what I did, I, I don't remember if I had to clip this or not off the top of my head. But I made it so that the end of the keyway is now flush of the end of the clutch. So now there's, that's hot. <laughs> now there's no excess here. It's nice and flush in, so that paranoia is gone. Which means I had to get a smaller bolt because one and a quarter, I think, is the dimension of the current bolt I was had on. Just wasn't enough. So if you if you get your clutch in all the way, like with the key with the keyway set of I had, um, you're gonna want to go for a five sixteen twenty four by one inch. To the max you probably can get away with three quarter i have not tested it i'm not going to because this works fine for me i got my i got a flat washer and then a lock washer and that just covers it for me um since i moved the clutch more in where i had to move the sprocket in as well um i let this thing run for a couple minutes and i noticed that this was now flopping about and making a whole bunch of ruckus so it's a really stupid but cheap way to do it but all I did was just take, drill a couple holes in both the, the guard and the chair and I zip tied it together just so it wouldn't move. And it is, I mean, what was causing it to flap around is this, the, the engine vibrating, but that was granted it was up on jacks. I went on the alleyway and I didn't hear as much grinding. Uh, as you can see, it, I don't think, well, it had, it had a little bit of grinding. That's because I pushed down on it when it was running, but my, my bad. But I haven't heard of any problems after installing the clutch when it was all messed up. But other than that, I did another alleyway test, and it seems to be pretty good. Um, this guard, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I will confess, this guard is cheap. If, if you're looking for a simple solution, then this could be your answer. I'm not going to recommend it to you because this is new for me. I don't know if this will work. So if you try this on your own, it doesn't work out for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, but again just get a computer case chop it up then cut it up in a folding style fold it in and then make sure the holes can line up use two 5 16 24 by uh, three quarter bolts i think and just to bolt it in there make sure there's enough clearance that it's grinding up and give it a test see what happens anyway guys uh that's gonna be it for this episode um next one is gonna be a two-part of, of the next episode because we're, i'm gonna finally consider painting this as you can see we are finally well it's dusk it's probably like 4 35 o'clock we have sunny skies now it's starting to get above 50 degrees which is great you need painting temperatures of uh 50 degrees and above and right now it's 60 it feels great i missed it to mention i also got the split uh colors or for my for, my, for the shaft from ace hardware um, just to add a little bit more security to this in case it decides to shuffle around, there's one on each side. May not be necessary considering our set's crispy, you know, it doesn't hurt to be safe. So sorry, maybe who knows, we might add a drum break here or something. Because I'm coming to think of it, I mean, I don't know if you guys played automation before with Beam and G. I mean, probably just some of you mostly have. If you put drum brakes in most cars in the rear and disc in the front, well, overall, if you put drum brakes on your car, it's going to be hard to stop. Because you, it just, it's just clamping onto a drum, whereas it's all just, it just, it creates. I don't know how to explain it, but like with compared to a disc brake, it it won't lock it up. So I think that might be the better option for it. I mean, if we do a braking system here, I think a drum brake 
to, since we don't need to put much force in it to lock it up, because that's what I was concerned about. If I do a disc break and then I have the calipers that mechanically lock them up, I'm still going to be sliding. This thing ain't going to be stopping that easily. So I think a drum break might be a little easier, but tell me, tell me what you think on that. But anyway, next two, couple parts, we are going to be finally painting this thing. Because as I mentioned, the weather is becoming great. Um, spring break is a, a couple weeks from now, and I might have some time to take this apart and finally sand it down. So here, so here's the rundown for, just to give you an idea of what I'm thinking. So the first part is going to be more of a kind of the prepping stage where we're going to take this apart and then we're going to just sand the, the snot out of this thing. We're going to sand it and then we're going to uh, just like tape stuff out. We're going to maybe maybe deflate these tires so take these sleeves out and get rid of this gunk um we'll wa we'll wash down the track to make sure we can get as much of the dust up as possible so we can have a, a clear contact with all the paint and then of course we'll tape everything tape every everything down and go from there and then the second part will be painting it and then hopefully um hopefully it all goes well and if it does then we'll put it back together and look forward to another maiden voyage soon but anyway guys Thank you so much for watching so far. If you want, if you enjoyed this build, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new. And other than that, I'm Caden. I I will see you guys later. Bye bye.